Yeah. And and gratitude is such a big piece of of what I talk about, and also it's a big piece of of, of what makes our family dynamic work uh, in our home. And so, how do we practice gratitude? And I think in a lot of ways, kids today are desensitized to the word gratitude because they see it everywhere. If you want to, if you want to shut a kid off, uh, you can say be be grateful, and they're like, that's right next to be respectful or don't bully. We they hear the message co- constantly. So as parents. I don't know if we necessarily use the word gratitude as we use the as we really lead by example, and and we actually demonstrate sh- showing our teenagers when we, when somebody does a nice job that we say hey thank you. It's even the simple of just modeling please thank you you're welcome and hey look how great you did at that. Uh, you're you're modeling that principle of gratitude that's so essential I believe to to kids uh, really being the best version of themselves. You know, I think it's a really interesting point that they're kind of desensitized to it. I think you're right that it has to be one of those things that is modeled and talked about, but not in a like, be grateful kind of a way. But, you know, what are the things I'm grateful for? What are, you know, um, and as you said, just a simple thank you sometimes goes a really long way. And I used to ask, I used to ask my daughter, I used to ask my son all the time, what do you, hey, so what are you grateful for? What are you grateful for about today? In fact, I even would talk to, with, with, when I talk with parents and students, I'll talk about, you know, every night before you go to bed, ask yourself, what are three things you're grateful for? That's great for adults, but sometimes that's more challenged for teens. Yeah. So we can maybe add, we can ask maybe a different question like, hey, what, what made you laugh today? Like that's, when they talk about what made them laugh today, a lot of times those stories are, are really there's a slice of gratitude in that story because yeah. it's wow because then you can say wow my friend made me laugh at lunch today and then you could say wow isn't it great that you have a great group of friends you get to have lunch with so without even saying hey isn't it great that you you know you should be grateful that you have friends to sit with at lunch you're you're shining a light on that just by by having the conversation of hey what made you laugh today or hey like if we have a game we have a game around the dinner table when they were kids we used to call it the gratitude game we go around and say what are you grateful for well mm-hmm. now we can't really do that cuz it's teenagers but instead we could say hey what did you really what would what did you really like about today what was really enjoyable about today or what was really fun about the dinner that we just had with our friends and our family so you just have to be a little bit more creative about how you how you bring that about but there is no question that gratitude even though even not just kids but adults are desensitized to the word i think in some ways uh, yeah. To practice it I, is, is essential to us living a life that we love, and I think it's essential to to being an effective parent. 